My second child was in preschool and we got a little bit of financial aid for that. And when he was coming out, we applied my third child and we were denied. So we didn't get any financial aid and at that time we weren't able to afford the full tuition. So we decided to keep her out for a few months until we were stable enough to be able to pay for her to go. While Charlotte's children are among the few hundred students who get accepted into Kamehameha Schools preschools each year, there are still close to 17,500 eligible preschoolers throughout Hawaii. Children of Hawaiian descent make up about 15% of this number. For every family that will walk through these gates, we just want them to be blessed by us and what we do for them, and they can be a blessing for the future. And Kamehameha Schools is joining in on the effort to get all of Hawaii's children the education that they deserve by supporting the Yes on Four campaign. Now you tell me, today we learned about four new centers. Kamehameha Schools has put half a million dollars towards this effort, and we're not benefiting from it financially at all. It's just to help all children, and I just am so proud that I work for an organization that is so passionate about early childhood as I am. It's an opportunity for all children to attend preschool, because currently not everyone can attend preschool. It's financially challenging for them. Most of it is the families who can afford the $800, $700 tuition fee a month, and the other half that get subsidies. But what about the others? Hawaii is one of the remaining 10 states in the U.S. that has yet to adopt the idea of supporting private preschools through state and outside funding. The Yes on 4 campaign aims to further the conversation of bringing that opportunity to Hawaii's youth. And that's what Yes on 4 is about. It's about that opportunity. It's about that access. Um, it's about creating these win-wins for all of us. And I really appreciate that so many have stepped up become champions for our keiki. Mahalo. Mm -hmm. If you want to change the school system in Hawaii and improve things, the single one thing we can do that would be the best would be to have children entering kindergarten on a level playing field, all had attended preschool, and all are ready to succeed and learn. <laughs> It's about making sure that they can make the most of those experiences and reach those pivotal benchmarks at every step of the way. Not just third grade, but also make sure that they're ready at every single level. And when they leave our classroom doors into the workforce and into the world, uh, prepare to make the most, to have a good quality of life, be able to get those good jobs, uh, stay here in Hawaii, um, have a good living. Um, all of these things, we know the return on investment is significant. Hawaii's based uh, economy, being tourism, also being service industry, requires that we promote from within on our local population. We have to have our kids be the leaders in these industries. And in order to do that, you have to have had the education, you have to have had the level playing field. I think looking at this campaign and seeing the breadth of partners that we have, we have Kamehameha Schools, we have industry partners, we have business at the table, uh, we have parents, we have so many different supporters. It really just shows that this is something that Hawaii is standing up and saying that we really do believe it is important for our youngest of children to be ready to learn. I see the value um, for our children to attend preschool, so I'll definitely support yes. Vote yes on four at this upcoming November's election and support the push to get more of Hawaii's children into preschool seats as leaders of our tomorrow. Remember that a blank vote is no vote. For more information, visit yesonfourhigh.org.